Shares of Costco, they are on the move here pre-market after a tepid report on March sales. They're down right now. Shares are by about 3% before the start of trade. Headline is concern about re the recession and concern about inflation. Costco Wholesale had close to 128 million members as of 2023, according to Statista. It goes without saying that the company, which had its opening in Washington states in the 1980s, is a major force in the retail industry. Given the enormous number of individuals that visit Costco branches every day to purchase items like diapers, poultry, toiletries, bulk packages, gasoline and more, any and all purpose changes to the firm have the potential to have a significant impact on a large number of people. If you're among the millions of people who visit the warehouses regularly, you might want to wait it out since it appears like 2024 will be a very exciting year for Costco company. New Year's goals appear to affect even our favorite wholesaler and many adjustments are allegedly in the pipeline. Get ready for some of the greatest changes coming to Costco in 2024, including new items, a revamped food court, regulations about card scanning and possibly higher membership fees. Let us begin on a good note, shall we? If one is aware of extensive selection of luscious items available in the renowned sector, we highly doubt that there is anyone on the planet who would not find the announcement of a new Costco bakery item to be exciting. Fortunately for us, there are three new baked items to add to our Costco buying list that you really must try. The first is a loaf of savory bread called roasted garlic parmesan bread, which has actual bits of garlic dispersed throughout and is really soft on the inside and crisp on the surface. The double chocolate cream pie, which uses a graham cracker crust, brownie layers and whipped cream and shaved chocolate curds to create a rich memorable flavor is the second item in the new Costco baked goods collection. The cookies and cream mini cake, a chocolate treat shaped like a cupcake and covered in a thick coating of icing that tastes like Oreo cookies is the last recently created masterpiece that is worth mentioning. It is important to note that they come in packs of six, so if you want to avoid eating them all at once, you will need to practice self-control. Anyone who shops at Costco knows how to get their wallet out of their back pocket. Hit the front door and show the employee working the entry the picture of their happy smiles on their membership card. Since Costco shopping is exclusively available to members, proving that you are a paying club affiliate is essential. A quick flash of the Costco issued ID card has been enough in the past, but starting in 2024, the warehouse will need further verification before allowing customers in. As a result of previous problems with members using their cards to get entry with friends or relatives who don't pay, Costco is now taking actions by using scanning technology before customers even enter the store. One recent Reddit thread's headline, Membership Scan at Entrance, is written next to picture of an admission agent using a hand scanner. I've seen people with multiple cards full of food get turned away at the checkout line due to having someone else's card, stated an individual in the discussion. This could be an effort to avoid situations like that. You are mistaken if you believe that there were already enough Costco stores in the globe. The company's stated aim to open 31 new facilities in 2024 suggests that there is a need for more warehouses. Those that are presently being built are mentioned on Costco's official website and include, among other places, Lomis, California, Daytona Beach, Florida, and Shenzhen, China. It is naturally the goal that these new additions to the Costco universe will reduce overcrowding in the current ones. So many customers are understandably curious about how long it will take to create these desperately needed warehouses. 130 days, a purported construction worker on Reddit replied, piquing the interest of one curious consumer. This is the timetable for the deal. The building, siding, roof and all doors are covered in 75 days. I work as a project manager for the business that constructs all new cost costs in the US, Canada and occasionally overseas. However, the timetable is 130 days long altogether. Given the scale of the new warehouses themselves, this timetable may be seen as fairly quick. Therefore, we don't think the company will have any trouble achieving its 31 new structure objectives for the new year. Ultimately, though, we guess we'll just have to wait and see. Before announcing his resignation in October 2023, Craig Jalonek had been Chief Executive Officer or CEO of Costco for around 11 years. Ron Wackers, the man he had selected to succeed him, had a background that many people could relate to right away. In addition to working at Costco for 40 years, he had begun his lengthy career as a forklift driver. The story of a man who started from nothing and worked his way up to the corporate ladder touched many people's hearts. His modest upbringing undoubtedly made the CEO seem more approachable. The official CEO transition began on January 1, 2024. Many are eager to see what changes Costco will undergo under its new leadership. 
Even though Jalonek, the former CEO, will remain on until April to act as an advisor and support Vakris during changeover. Let's be honest, churros are very tasty. These doughy cinnamon and sugar coated deep fried sticks are a true culinary marvel. And fans of Costco are probably already acquainted with the company's version of a Spanish inspired baked good. The beloved churro product has been served by the Costco food court to hungry customers for years. But in 2024, the snack's illustrious and heartbreaking existence came to an abrupt and tragic end. Many customers are apparently saddened by the news that the food court churros are no longer available. The double chocolate chunk cookie was a new dessert that was being unveiled alongside the removal of the remaining churro dough from Costco food courts. We cannot tell whether the date of the cookie's release was designed to purposely appease the organization's furious and churro mourning fanbase. The Costco food court's famous red and white tables are probably the first thing that comes to mind when you imagine the interior of a warehouse. It goes without saying that you will be able to sit down and enjoy your bubbling cheese pizza when you place your order. It is possible that this situation may change by 2024. Customers claim that certain Costco locations have switched to having standing tables only in their food courts. And there may be more locations soon to follow suit with this controversial move. In Fresno, California, Costco intends to build a warehouse that is more than 240,000 square feet in size according to Business Insider. By a wide margin, this would surpass the company's current biggest space in Salt Lake City, Utah, which is 235,000 square feet as the largest site, even though only a portion of this enormous location would actually be accessible to regular shoppers, with a portion of the building allegedly reserved for business customers only. Historically, Costco has increased its yearly membership cost every five years or so. The globe is destined for another upward price slide in 2024 if this tendency continues as it did during its most recent climb in 2017. Although the formal announcement of increased membership pricing has not yet been released by Costco wholesale executives, we can all probably anticipate hearing about it soon. As reported by Today in September 2023, Costco Corporation Chief Financial Officer Richard Galanti said an increase in membership fees was just a matter of when, not if. Given how much technology is used in today's world, having a good app connected to your business may greatly contribute to its success. It really has the power to make or break the client experience, sometimes even influencing whether or not they choose to visit the establishment again. For all of its brilliance in bulk items, Costco has been unexpectedly deficient in the app store for a long time. According to Richard Galanti, the business's chief financial officer, users gave Costco's app store a dismal 2.3 stars at first, which prompted the company to concentrate its efforts on making improvements. Digital membership cards, in-store search engines, and in-app shopping list creation are just a few of the features that have been introduced to the Costco app which has resulted in a good 4.7 star user rating. You've done it once more, Costco, and we hope you succeed in crushing the other goals you set for yourself this year. That's all, guys. We hope these changes are going to make a huge profit. Keep subscribing to our channel for more information.